Hey everyone, I hope you had a great weekend and today I just wanted to share with you a student ministry story. See, with over 12 years involved in student ministry, I have a ton of stories and I really would like to share them. Some of them very funny and, hum and humorous, others a little more on the serious side, but all hoping they would be of some benefit and education uh, to those who hear it or maybe youth workers or you know, potential youth pastors who might see this. And this one involves uh, one of my favorite memories and it involves me and a group of boys starting a bonfire on the roof of the church. And I still keep in contact with a handful of youth from the time and this is one of the fa our favorite memories that we bring up. Now, our church was located a l right next door to the high school and we oversaw the football field and the baseball fields. And our youth room was located on the third floor. It was a very large church, three different buildings. Two of the buildings were three stories high. And our youth room was on the third floor and I had a key to the youth storage. And in the youth storage closet, there was a ladder that led up to the roof. And when I discovered that, uh, it probably wasn't the best idea. And before I continue, I just want to say that this was really dumb to do this, uh, and I would never ever do this again. And I would always tell you, and I, and I would tell youth workers, uh, you know, in times from since then, you know, though it might sound like a good idea, don't do you may, don't do it. You might get in trouble. Someone might get hurt. So. So looking back at that, it's not something I would ever do again, nor would I encourage it. Uh, but what happened was is that um, when, the, when the boys found out that I had access to the roof, they would always ask me, let's go up to the roof, let's go up to the roof. And me being a young youth pastor at the time, I believe I was 20, 20 years old, and some of these stories, I use myself as, a, as an example of why a 20 year old, maybe he's not the should not be the first choice to put in charge of a youth program. But anyway, so I would take him up to the youth, I would take him up to the roof because yeah, I wanted to be that cool youth pastor. I wanted to be that, that youth pastor that everyone liked, that I was a friend to everyone. Uh, so we went up there periodically just to kind of explore the roof of the church, to watch the baseball games, watch the football games, uh, and you know, just stuff like that. And one day, one of the boys thought it would be a great idea to let's take some food up there. And I, I don't know, you know, what, what compelled me to think of this. I'm like, oh, it would be cool to have a little bonfire up there. Now, the, the roof of the church was made up of a bunch of gravel and, like, there was just a lot of little rocks. So there was very little, I mean, the risk is always there, but uh, we thought you know, we have it under control. So we go up there, we bring up our food. You know, there's about to, there's a football game about to start. It's like crosstown rivalry. And we're building this little, uh, little fire pit of, you know, dirt and rocks. Uh, make sure we brought up buckets of water. So we wanted to make sure everything was safe, uh, that nothing was gonna get out of control. Uh, then we put a, like a little bit of kindling in there and we had a little fire and we made like s'mores and we cooked like hot dogs and we're watching the football game and everything was going fine until uh, it had nothing to do with the fire but two of the boys decided to uh, you know kind of like remove their t-shirts and start you know doing this rooting for their high school and I see this and I'm like, I'm like trying to gather back because they went up to the ledge, that way they can get a clear, clear view and they were trying to draw attention to where we were at. So I'm trying to, I'm telling them to get back over here. Uh, and so, you know, they listened, they came down and I was, you know, I was a, that was the end of that. So we finished up the night, we cleaned up and you think that I got away with it. Well, no. I actually did get caught because what happened was is that 
in the bleachers of the football game, there was one of the deacons whose grandson played on the team. So the following week, I was called into the youth past, uh, I'm sorry, the senior pastor's office. And I knew, I thought I was in big trouble. I, you know, I was, I've only been there for a little less than six months. And I get called into the pastor's office and I didn't know what to do, what to say. And I just, you know, I didn't try to weasel out of it. I just said, yeah, we thought it would be fun to go up to the roof to watch the football game. And we took some food and yeah, the boys were cheering for their team. I should have never have done it. It was really dumb, really stupid. Someone could have gotten hurt. I apologize. Uh, and whatever disciplinary action you deem uh, appropriate, that's fair. And whether the, I don't know what it was, either the pastor really liked me or by God's grace, it was merely a slap on the wrist saying, okay, don't take the youth up to the roof. And they took away my key to the closet and they moved all the youth stuff from that closet to another room. So it could have been a lot worse and it was really dumb. I would never do it again, nor would ever encourage uh, any youth worker or youth pastor to take their youth up to the roof of their church and start a bonfire. Very bad idea, very dumb, but still one of our favorite memories that we always bring up. And in a way, it did bring me and the boys involved a little closer. We got, we talked a little bit. We shared that, ex we shared that experience and um, it's something we bring up from time to time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story and I'm going to share more stories as we go forth from here, but hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Thank you. And I will talk to you again later. So I just get done recording the student ministry video and I recorded it on the roof of my studio here. And when I get back down here, I'm starting to do some editing and then I get a knock on my door. And apparently someone called the, the cops on me and they, they called the cops and they said that uh, some juvenile was up on the roof lurking around. And I just thought that was funny that someone, A, called the cops on me, B, thought I was a juvenile, uh, <laughs> So I thought that was, you know, I'm flattered in a way. Uh, so I had to explain to them, no, this is my studio. I work here. I just, so I was up on the roof checking a leak because we have been, I've had leaking issues in here. Uh, so that, oh yeah, that was me up there, officer. See, here's my key. Here's the code I just showed. And they're really nice. They're really good. They just, you know, walked off. So I thought that was pretty funny it just goes to show you that weird things happen especially when you're doing stuff involving youth ministry and it brings to mind of a story that I will be telling in the future when <laughs> me and my youth group uh, were pursued by a police helicopter but that's a story for another time but I just wanted to let that note that hey someone called the cops on me and they thought I was a juvenile I'll take it <laughs>